He's a bit upset that the three have got through. I know. He could be even more upset when I make it four. Indeed. Let's put some money on the table. If you want to take a step closer to home, the chaser will offer you... Minus a thousand. Mmm, <laughs> that's a bullying tactic, <laughs> if ever I've seen one. However, if you want to take a step closer to the chaser, he will offer you... £23,000. Have a chat with your team, Andy. Guys, four people against Sean. Mm. I think we've got a pretty good chance of taking the money. That logic says bring five grand back, doesn't it? I think that makes sense, but I think also you're capable of taking it. He's weakened after that battle with yeah. me, you see? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Thank you, team. OK, Andy. I think upsetting Sean and taking away the money is a lot more tempting than upsetting the team. Yes. So... I know Sean's going to see this as a sign of cowardice. Right. But I think I'm going to take the reduced offer. You're going for minus a thousand. Yeah. Steve, you're not looking at all happy. I'm not sure that's what I'd do if it was me, let me put it that way. But as, if he wants to get back, then, yeah, I think it's, it's a safe move. Chaser. Well, I can see how annoyed Steve is because he's put the most money in. Andy, for a minus a thousand pounds, the chase is on. <laughs> Here comes your first question. Good luck. What first name was shared by the furniture designers Chippendale and Sheraton? A. George. B. Thomas. C. Edward. You've put. Thomas, happy with that? No. Guess? Not, not really, but it's just something in the back of my head that says Thomas Sheraton. Correct answer is. It is Thomas. Step closer to home. Chaser has put. Also put Thomas, and you have riled him. Here's the next question. Which of these sports was the first to be discontinued at the Olympics? A, tug of war. B, cricket. C, polo. You have put... polo. I was kind of hoping for a few sport questions, but... Not really into cricket, tug of war or polo. Right. Correct answer is. It's cricket. Staying where you are. The chase has put. Yeah. I think it was 1900 was the last time. Uh, and you know who um, Great Britain beat in the final? France in the last cricket Olympic final. Oh man, it just goes to show. I once did polo, jumped on the horse, fell through the hole in the middle. <laughs> His next question. The Nobu restaurants are famed for fusion food that combines South American influences with which cuisine? A, Thai, B, Chinese, or C, Japanese? You've put... Japanese. How do you feel about that? Before the answers came up, Japanese sprang into my mind. Sometimes just, you know, your first hunch is the best one to go for. Correct answer is... All right, Japanese it is. Step closer to home. The chaser has put... Yes, and knows his stuff. Here's the next question. In what incident of 1904 did the Russian Baltic fleet attack British trawlers after mistaking them for Japanese ships? A. The Dogger Bank incident. B. Scapa Flow incident. Or C. The Fair Isle incident. You've put Dogger Bank incident. Never heard of the Fair Isle incident. I don't think Scapa Flow was war-related, so a process of elimination. Correct answer is... Yes, Dogger Bank it is, and you're one step from home. The chaser has put... Oh, got it wrong. Five grand, 23 grand. Andy, you have absolutely... Smashed him. It that... all means nothing unless we smash him in the next round. Now, team, here's a question for you. Do you want him to get the next question right? I think he's done well enough to say, yeah, it, it, it's worth having him back. Even with the reduced sum. But he could have bought five grand. He could have bought 23 grand back. He could have. And he'll know that. Oh, Andy. Here's your next question. 
What is the name of Gordon Smart's gossip column in The Sun? Is it A, 3 a.m., B, Bizarre, or C, Night and Day? You have put... Bizarre. You happy with that? Yeah, I think so. Bizarre, I'm sure Bizarre is a gossip column in The Sun. The correct answer is... Yes, it is Bizarre, and you are through. <laughs> Chaser. Steve, you must be smart in sitting there, knowing full well that you have put in £25,000. Andy, congratulations. It's four in the final chase. Well done. So, Lynn, Steve, Julie and Andy have made it through to the final chase. Will they win? Well, I hope so. For his sake. Come back after the break and find out.